Acts 11, 13 through 15. He told us how he had seen an angel in his house. Now this is talking about, um, who is it talking about? The guy, the house there at Caesarea. I'm pretty sure it tells Cornelius. This is Cornelius commanding me, sir, talking to his servants. He saw an angel. We see that in um, chapter 10. Um, so, in his house and stood and sent men to Joppa and called for Simon, whose surname was Peter. Now, Peter may have been known, but these were Gentile people. It, it, Peter certainly would have been known among the Jews. Gentiles, it's likely he could have been known, but likely not full detail because they weren't Jewish. Um, but Pete, regardless, Peter was a key figure in the church, as he should have been. Um, I believe all of them were, but we see Peter's in Scripture itself more dominant. He will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. And now they had, uh, in chapter 10, we'll look back, um, a devout man who feared God. This is what Scripture says about Cornelius. So, they may have not heard about Christ was the only thing keeping them from faith. They may have had faith, but not heard the full gospel. Now, this isn't something we deal with today in full. Um, to hear the good news is to hear good news. There isn't, okay, because the two are the same. At the, this time, there was a period where the two weren't the same. So being devout meant you lived by the law. The law just was fulfilled in Christ. He died to, to free us from the law. So it's likely Cornelius, being of Italian descent, was still living by some form of Jewish law to please God. And Peter's coming to him to bring him the gospel, which he's going to accept being devout because he has faith. Now he's going to have saving He's going to have the Holy Spirit. I believe his faith was enough to save him at this point because of this time frame. Um, this isn't saying that, okay, you believe in God, you're saved. And No, it, it's saying that with Cornelius, he believed in God, hadn't yet heard about Christ. But because he's devout, when he heard, he'd accept. It's a complicated um, So either way, they're going to receive the Holy Spirit. And he began to speak, and the Holy Spirit fell on them as they fell on us at the beginning. So it's talking about at the beginning of the church. Acts 2, I believe it is. Um, so he began to speak, and the Spirit fell on them. It doesn't say they came to faith, because they already had the faith. They just now have the Spirit poured out in them. We need to live and let the Spirit pour out in us.